everyone, I'm Ruby Zhu, and I'm going to tell you the story of Hickory Do. You see, I'm a teacher there. I teach at the school. And there was one Christmas we had which was quite uncool. So here it goes. I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of a roller coaster, but I won't spoil it. Once upon a time, there was a very small town with very happy people and a very cheerful sound. They loved to dance and they loved to sing. They loved just about everything. The town's name was Hickory Do, and their ruler's name was King Baloo. He lived on a hill high above the town so that he could see what was happening all around. At his big window, he watched over it all. He loved his people, his palace, he loved it all. And every year when December came around, the people gathered together and made a huge sound. The king threw a Christmas bash with songs, gifts, dancing and food. Everything about Christmas, yes, everything was good. It was the town's favourite holiday and they loved it very much. The king was always very generous, every heart he did touch. Until one year when King Baloo got very, very sick. He coughed and he howled and his life started to slip. As winter got colder and Christmas drew near, King Baloo got sicker and sicker and death he did fear. Till one day he did pass and his life was no more. The town threw a funeral and celebrated the king they adored. A new queen was on her way, and Christmas was too. It was King Baloo's sister. Her name was Queen Kazoo. She had heard about Christmas and how it was great fun, how it made people so happy and there was a party for everyone. She had never had a real Christmas, so a surprise it would be. She heard there were presents and food and many magical things to see. And so, this is the story of Queen Kazoo, the new queen on the hill of Hickory Doo. Her very first Christmas you will now see. So sit back, relax, and watch the Queen of the Hill with me. It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year It's the happy With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call, it's the half happy season of all. There'll be parties for hosting marshmallows, for toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time of the year.
town of Hickory Doo. <laughs> what fabulous place to be. Uh, excuse me. Yes, yes, <laughs> you do. Come here, come here. Uh, what are your names? My name's Boo. And I'm Lou. <gasps> it's very nice to meet you. The name is Queen Kazoo. And I guess I'll be telling you both what to do. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Anyways, what is there to do in this town of oh. Hickory Do? Well, we actually have quite a lot coming up on the Queen's list of fun jobs I get to do. You see, Christmas is on its way and we have lots of planning to do. Christmas? Yes, I've heard all about this Christmas. It's, it's the holiday where I will receive so many presents and have the biggest tree. Uh, well, no, not Ooh, really. Whoa, where people will sing me songs and I will be the happiest queen I've ever been. <laughs> well, yes, but you see, the thing Ooh. is that... Wear my stockings. They will be so full of delicious treats. <laughs> How can you not be happy on a day like Christmas? I don't think you really understand. <laughs> I think you? I do. Anyways, I want you to write this down. I would like the biggest tree, the best presents, and the best singers. And it's all just for me. <laughs> you see, Queen Kazoo had never had a real Christmas, so she didn't know what to do. She thought it was all about herself, but this wasn't true. Along came Christmas Eve, and the final preparations were all done. Excitement filled the air as the countdown to Christmas got down to only one. And on the night of Christmas Eve, as everyone fell asleep, there was not a single sound or open eye not even a little peep. And up in her castle, getting ready, was Queen Kazoo, excited for her first ever Christmas and all the fun things she was going to do. She got into bed, as snug as could be, and dreamt of Christmas and all the fun it would be. Wake up, Queen <gasps> Kazoo! Christmas is up! <gasps> it's finally here! Christmas! Christmas! <laughs> What an exciting day! Tell me, what is the first thing we do on Christmas? Well, you see, what we normally do is open presents. Pre presents. I love presents. Take me to them. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Don't want that. Ah. What is this? What is it? Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. It's the latest iPhone 25. <laughs> With its very own chef and digital printer. Right. Yes. Oh, wow. 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 What is the latest Sony 3000 Triple X boombox? Sound so clear, it's like they're right. <laughs> Great, love it, fabulous, what is this? What is this? It's a Christmas card made for you by me and Boo. Well, what does it do? Does, does it have a printer, a chef? A, I know, <laughs> I know, it flies. No, we just made it for you, out of love. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, bring me my royal binoculars, please. I want to see what my townspeople of Hickory Do are doing. Thank you. All right, let's see. Ooh, wonderful, nice, love. What, what is that? Oh, do you see that? Down there. I, th I think your binoculars are broken. Imbecile, yeah. Look down there. Do you see that? That looks like little boy Roo. <laughs> oh, little boy Roo. Yes, yes. And what does he look like he's doing? Looks like he's playing with a toy train that he probably got for oh, Christmas. Oh, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Take me to him. You want to go and see little boy Roo? Yes, I want to go and see little boy Roo. Sure, this way, Your Majesty. Thank you. Choo choo! Hi 
Hiya, Boo. Hiya, Lou. Hello, little boy, Roo. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Merry Christmas, Queen Kazoo. Oh, yes. Merry Christmas, little boy, Roo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, why do you look so happy? Oh, well, you see, it's what I got for Christmas. It's this toy train. Ah, and that, that is what's making you so happy. Yeah. May I see it? You're going to have to be careful. Yes. Yes, it is this train, and this train is what's making you happy. Why? Why? What yes. do you mean, why? I mean, isn't it the greatest gift ever? Uh, it's the greatest gift ever. Yeah. Boo, Boo, come here, please. I have an idea. I know what's going to make me happy. I want that train. <laughs> We will get you one of those. We really must be on our way now. Let's go. I want that train. <laughs> but that's little boy Rue's train. <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> I, I want it, and I'm the queen of Hickory Doo, and, and I must be the happiest, so I want that train. But you mean Enough just... buts. But here, but there. But I don't care. Get me that train. Hide and go see. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we really must yes. be on our way. Now. <laughs> I love my new shoes. What? Take this stupid train. Oh, what is this? Hello there, little girl. Tell me, why are you smiling so big? I got these new shoes for Christmas. No, lovely, did you? So cute. So cute, and that's what's making you happy? Yes, they're the best I've ever got. Oh, lovely to hear. The shoes. Mm -hmm. Take them. So happy. <laughs> Excuse me, stop! <laughs> Hello there, darling. Hello. Why are you so happy? Look at my new doll, isn't it great? Yes, it's wonderful. And that's what's making you happy? Yes, <laughs> It's mine. <laughs> now I will be the happy. Just a word, it's a pen. What? <sighs> Boo Lou, come here. Come here, Boo. Come here. Come stand here, please. Come here. I've got a plan. It's going to make me the happiest queen in the town of Hickory Doo. This is what I want you to do. The toys, all of them. Bring them to my castle. Uh, for me. But your majesty. Uh, yeah, but stop butting me. Do what I say. But your majesty, everyone gets special gifts. From I am the queen of Hickory Doo. And if I want all the presents, because that will make me happy, that is what you're going to do. So bring the presents, bring them to me, bring them one, bring them all. <laughs> so all of the presents, those big and those small, were sent to her castle. She had them all. One by one, the presents came to the queen until she had them all every single thing. The presents flowed in, but by noon they finally stopped and her ballroom was filled right up to the top. A kite, a cart and a water gun too, all at the feet of Queen Kazoo and even the train of Little Boy Roo. The queen pranced around as happy as could be and though the people had lost their presents, they had not lost their glee. For they knew that lunch was drawing near with turkey and brandy snaps and enough food to last the year. <sighs> wow, look at all of my toys. These shoes probably won't fit, but I love them. Wow, look at this train. Beautiful, everything. Bulu, look at what we've done. Uh, we've done what? Just look at all these toys. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Your Majesty. Touch me. Yes, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Yes, I, I must say, I am feeling rather happy. But, but I would like to feel happier. <laughs> so tell me, what do we do next on Christmas Day? Um, now, we normally have Christmas lunch. <sighs> lunch. I love lunch. Take me to it. Oh, my goodness. Fabulous. Ah, plate, spoon, muffin. Ah, 
Yum, 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 yum. Oh, beautiful, delicious, spectacular. That is what I call a queen's meal. Oh, every beef, every turkey, jerky, every carrot, every little peanut. <laughs> Love it. Well, I'm done with my snacks. I'd, I'd like my main meal now. <laughs> Um, Your Majesty, that was the main meal. All of it. That was the main... Right then. <laughs> Bit of feedback. Oh, food pun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel full, but I would like to feel stuffed. Like the turkey I just ate. <laughs> Again! <clears throat> anyway. I, I'm feeling quite... Happy? Don't you love being happy? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> what makes me happy is... Shh. <laughs> do, do you hear that? Hear what? That. Listen. <gasps> do you hear that? It sounds like people laughing. It sounds like they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me my royal binoculars. some investigating to do. Stop, they look like the happiest people in the village. <laughs> exactly. Hello, townspeople of Hickory Doo. It is I, the most beautiful queen in the world, your marvelous queen, Kazoo. I was just wondering. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Hello, Sai. I'm over here. Excuse me. Well, I'm glad I've got your attention. It is I, Queen Kazoo. The wonderful queen of Hickory Doo. I was just wondering why you are all so happy. Why? What do you want there? Scottish man? <sighs> How dare you? Why, why can't you just answer my question? Well, we have all this food. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see that. And who made this food? Uh, I did. <laughs> I did. Probably gross then. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? This is the most delicious food I have ever tasted in my whole life. You see, my officials, 
They told me I had eaten all the food, so I would like to know who is your supplier? Well, it came from all of our houses. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Boo come here, please. You see me to see you. <laughs> you know, earlier on, we were in the castle. I was eating lunch. I'm like, bring me the main meal. Like, oh, that's no more food left. It's all gone. <laughs> what does this look like? Uh, food, Your Majesty. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought I had eaten all of the food. You had eaten all of your food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the queen of Hickory Doo. Which means all of the food is my food. So, I have an idea It's going to make me a very happy queen. <laughs> the food. Pack it up. Pack, pack what up? The pack up the food. Bring it to my castle. For <laughs> <me to eat. laughs> Excuse me, but what are we going to eat? What are we going to feed our families? <laughs> well, excuse me, little girl, but there is no need to be so greedy. My goodness. In fact, since you've opened your little mouth, you uh, and your little squad, your little minions, your peeps, they can help you pack up the food and bring it to my castle yourself. Here you go, darling. Pack it up. Stand up. Let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> every turkey and every ham. And the people went hungry, every woman and every man. The food was delivered to the queen's great dining hall. The pile grew and it grew until it was 10 feet tall. She ate until she was full and it didn't take very long. The people had prepared such a feast that she just couldn't go on. When she had finished, she gave her plate one final lick. But she wasn't at all happy now. She had started to feel sick. I don't understand. I have all of the toys. I have all of the food. I've never seen so many buns before. And I'm still unhappy. Excuse me. Do, do you know why I'm unhappy? No? No? Okay, do, do you know why I'm unhappy? <sighs> Unhelpful. I also don't know why I'm unhappy. <laughs> I mean, what more could I want? What more? More? <laughs> Bulu, come here, please. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> How can we help? I've got an idea. It's going to make me happy. But... You've already got all the presents. It's true. And you've got all the food. Yes. <laughs> what, what more could, could you want? want? <clears throat> I want you to do, do me a favour. I want you to say that again. Uh, what, what more, more could, could you, you want? want? Exactly. I want more. More what? Yeah. Just more. Now, as for her people, they were still having fun. They still had trees to decorate and plenty of work to be done. Even though their food was gone, they were not feeling sad, though little did they know their queen had started to go mad. So so hung where you can't see every couple tries to stop. Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit bring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie, we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling where you keep. 
voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with bows of holly, rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing, and let's be jolly. Deck the halls with bones of barley, rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful tree, so much bigger and sparklier than my one. <laughs> Bulu, I've got it, I finally got it. What is it, Your Majesty? It, it's the tree. The tree? Yes, the tree is going to make me happy. Um, I'm sorry, Majesty, <laughs> but what do you mean? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I mean, the tree is coming with me. <laughs> oh, but Your Majesty, what about the children? Uh, what about the Christmas cheer? It's unfair. Oh, well, 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 well. What about me? It isn't fair. I, I've never had a Christmas, and I want my share. Uh, can't you see? I just want to live, but I just take stuff. I don't give. Oh, but your majesty, Christmas is all about giving. <laughs> well, in that case, give me your tree. <laughs> <laughs> all my precious. <laughs> The day room was full of toys, food filled the dining hall. The ballroom was full of trees and lights, now the Queen had it all. The Queen was oh so happy with such a variety of things. She was so happy, in fact, that she started to sing. <laughs> oh, what a great Christmas. You know, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Everywhere I go, take a look at all I've got. It sure is a lot with little trains and candy canes and glow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas.
As the queen got more and more, her heart grew very dark. Her anger started to rise and she began to bark. Ruff, ruff, oh no, not that sort of bark. <coughs> Let me finish. <laughs> barking orders at Lou, barking orders at Boo, demanding they make her happy no matter what they have to do. Boo, Lou! Come here, please. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm still so unhappy. How? Like, seriously, how? Oh, I mean, how can we help you? Well, I had an idea. I thought maybe you can do something that makes me happy. Any ideas? Oh, I know. We could go for a walk. Boop. Yes, a walk. Let's go for a walk. Clear, clear the senses. And restore her sanity. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Lovely. Look at the snow, Your Majesty. Snow here and snow there. Oh, snow everywhere. Yes, I've got it. Well, isn't it wonderful? We could have a snow fight. Oh, yes, that may make you happy. What's snow fight? Let's snow No, no, no. <laughs> no. Or we could build a snowman. Oh, yes, a snowman. What is a snowman? Well, a snowman is a man with three snowballs. Uh, and the carrot for his nose. <laughs> okay, let's let's build a snowman. All right, no, not me, you build it for me. Oh. Do you wanna build a snowman? Alright, now back to Roma Hall. I think some company is overdue. I've started talking to the pictures on the wall. We could be snow buddies, but I guess we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's build a Disaster. snowman. Or no man. <laughs> Done! It's a little bit cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I, I think I'm feeling better now. Oh. <laughs> I think I feel happy again. Oh. <laughs> Nothing could go wrong on such a beautiful Christmas day. <laughs> Nothing. So oh. Good. Oh. <laughs> to her castle up on the hill and sat looking out from her windowsill. She was as unhappy as she could ever be, even though she had all the presents, all the food, and all the Christmas trees. And that's not all, she had the snow, giant piles from head to toe. But in her cozy castle, it started to melt. In the chill of winter, her body felt. She called for Boo and Lou to clean up the mess and decided she'd go for a walk while they did the rest. What? What is going on? What is this Christmas? 
they told me I would have fun. So much fun. You'll get presents, Your Majesty. You'll be the happiest you've ever been. Well, I'm not happy, and I have everything I could possibly have. And now, now I'm here all alone in this town. Yes, I am alone in the town. Where is everybody? What is that sound? Oh. Sounds like they're having a party. Oh, without me. <laughs> Ridiculous. I've taken everything from them. Everything. How, how can they possibly be having fun? Uh, I, I must see. I mean, what? It doesn't look like a party. I'm. What are they doing? What is going on? For those of you who don't know me, I'm Ruby Zhu. I'm a teacher here in Hickory Do. I'm so glad you all made it, and I'm so glad you're all here, and that you still have your Christmas cheer. Now, I know things today have been a bit unexpected, and with the presents, food, trees, and snow gone, you might be feeling a bit neglected. But let us never forget the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about what we get, but it's about what was given for us. How can giving be more exciting than getting? 
So here we are to hear the Christmas story about our amazing king in all his glory. King? I'm the queen of Hickory Doo. What is going on here? Christ was born on Christmas Day. Hark now, hear the angels sing, a king was born today. And man will live forevermore because of Christmas Day. While shepherds watch their flock by night, they see a bright new shining star they hear a choir sing a song the music seems to come from afar hark now hear the angels sing a king was born today and man will live forevermore because of christmas Jesus, King of Israel. You see, the most important thing about Christmas is our King Jesus, who gave all he was for us because he loves us so much. So no matter what happens, even if we don't have the presents or the snow, we can remain just as happy because his love for us is one thing that will never change. You're here. Yes, I'm here, but but now I know. That Christmas, it's, it's not about the, the tree or the toys. 
or the food or the snow. But, but it's about this baby Jesus, the, the baby who came to this earth and, and freed us. You got it, Your Majesty. You finally understand the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about getting. It's about what was given. It's a celebration of our King Jesus. Well, in that case, I have a great idea. And, and I, I think you're all going to like it. The Queen shared her plan with the town of Hickory Do that they would have a party with decorations, presents, and food. The biggest one that they had ever seen, where she would give back everything. So off we went up to the top of the hill in the castle where everyone could gather out of the chill. She gave back all the presents, including Rue's train, and put on a feast with plenty of appetizers and mains. And in her heart, she felt a new kind of joy, better than she got from any of her toys, better than all of the decorations, better than all of the food and snow. Finally, Christmas was starting to glow. It wasn't just the lights strung up on the trees or the glittery sparkle on the snowy white leaves. The Queen had found the true meaning of Christmas. It's about the baby boy Jesus, the Son of God who had freed us. His life brought so much joy. That's why we all get together. And sunshine and snow, no matter the weather. <coughs> Welcome to my castle, Hickory 2. You have a fun time. It's going to be a great party. <laughs> well, uh, here is your tree. You can, you can take that back with you. And, uh, and your toys, too. Uh, it's going to be so much fun. And little boy, Rue. Yeah? I have something for you. You do? Close your eyes. I promise nothing will disappear this time. <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, my train. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Majesty. No. No, little boy, Rue. Thank you for showing me what Christmas is all about. And on that note, Boo! Lou! Come here, please! <laughs> I'm very sad. <clears throat> I have to tell you something. Your card. I love it. <laughs> you, you do? I, uh, I do. And, and I'm sorry if I didn't appreciate it before, but... But I do not, in fact, I love it so much that I, oh, I made you a card too. <laughs> yes, here you go. It was made with love. <laughs> oh, thank you, Your Majesty! Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Your yes. Majesty. It's all right. I, I hope you all have fun. Merry Christmas, Hickory Do. Merry Christmas. Christmas. <sighs> I feel a song coming on. Yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. <laughs> Seriously, no more troubles. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Get the Yule tide gay. From now. Wait, I've forgotten something. 
so in sync, it's like we practiced. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, I have. Hey, I gave back the toys, right? Yes. Tick. Gave back the tree. Tick, tick. The food. Ate it. Tick. What did I forget? What else did I steal? I took one more thing. Do you know what I stole? Do you? Pardon? S what? Snow. Snow. Oh. Oh. I know what it is. And I'll give it back right now. I forgot to give back the snow. <laughs> so let it snow. Oh, I love snow! <laughs> Outside is frightful. And the fire is so delightful. Love. And since we have no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stuff. Probably won't stop. And I've bought some coin for Papa. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how oh, I hate walking out of the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home. Stopping, and I bought some coin for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Ah, oh, let it snow. Well, I pray you have a fantastic rest of your Sunday and holiday season, New Life Whanau. We will see you online next Sunday for a message from Pastor Paul Geeling from IC Church in Australia. God bless.